Yeah, what I have here today is a uh, Bun Special video. Written and directed by Bun Special, graphics by Bun Special, stunts by Bun Special, handcrafted with the finest ingredients. Sound effects by Bun Special. This video is born for an amateur, do not attempt at home, no watch it behind in making this video for entertainment only. Okay, I'm doing this differently because I'm sitting here and the camera is pshht, opposite of me because I have to do something. Let's see, so I got this mainspring from a clock. I noticed it wasn't quite right. Well, let's see. I'll show you what's not quite right. Maybe I gotta zoom in on this sucker. Yeah, let's see. We got oil coming out too. Yeah, whatever. I use this uh, hand pullers. Should I use hand pullers? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they work. Where's tweezers? I got different tweezers now. The other tweezers I had, they're always getting magnetized. So I said, man, what am I doing with these tweezers always getting magnetized? So I bought, I had some pair that are, and what does it say? Anti-acid, stainless, anti-magnetic. And I said, man, maybe I should get those suckers out. Let me see something. It's gonna roll. Everything rolls. Everything moves. Shakes. Shimmies. Okay. The deal with this thing is uh, you really can't see. Okay. It has a rivet end, and they it broke, I guess. So they uh, they made a rivet. It's not quite right on the inside over in this area. It's just not quite right. I, ah, I decide I can't live with it. I, I just can't do that. I just can't deal with it anymore. Not being it right. Well, let's see if we can replace it. I got another mainspring ah, in here. I hate to touch this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the rivet end. It's also got a hole. They put a hole in it too. You know, if I know I can get this thing with a hole in it, I would have bought a different mainspring winder. But they had to heat treat this sucker. They had to heat it up and uh, soften it to put the hole in there. Which uh, I don't like too much. We'll see how it performs. So I gotta take this out and put this in. So let's see. Maybe I can take this arbor out. Oh, that came out easy. Yeah, so let's see, I got a uh, new setup now for the uh, mainspring winder thing. Okay, so uh, this is my winding tool. I can't drop this camera in any lower because this is as low as the stand goes. Yeah, it is my winding tool. It's got a clamp here. I have the barrel put on already because some reason it uh, wasn't cooperating. It wouldn't be easy to do it on camera for some reason. I've done this before. So what I have to do is I have to uh, wind this up enough and then I got to stick this clamp in here. Grab it and then tighten it with uh, this. Let's see. Oh. Which way do I turn this up? Let's try this way. Oh, this thing's going to fight. This is not going to be pleasant. This will not be pleasant. This ain't going to be pleasant. I wonder if I can clamp it already. Huh, maybe I can clamp it. And, uh, let's see. Hey. Oh. I got it. The handle's hitting the vise. I didn't check for clearance. There you go. This vice is not uh, attached. <laughs> oh, wait, 
forgot to put the safety glasses on. Oh, I forgot to put the safety glasses on. I gotta wear safety glasses. I'm losing my arm. Over a freaking uh, main front. And then the safety glasses. Gotta get those safety glasses on. Now I can't see because the gloves are in the way. Freaking gloves. I can't see. Oh, there. Oh. Gloves are in the way. Son of a bitch. You know, the gloves are in the way. Damn it, that didn't happen last time. Oh, that was all oil. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. We gotta keep it right around here. Try again. Oh man, I can't see. Oh yeah, I got it. Ah, oh, I lost it. I lost it. Wow, this one's really a pain in the ass. Oh man, this is gonna be more of a pain. Everything, everything I've done so far this week has been a pain in the ass. You know? Because I got a bastard mainspring in here. That's why it's a pain in the ass. <sighs> nah, I didn't get it. Yeah, because this mainspring isn't right. The mainspring isn't right. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is just going to be a pain in the ass. It's the main son of a bitch. This sucks. I can't see. Oh, man. Oh, this sucks. You know, the glove is just in the way. I just can't see that the glove is in the way.
hand is just like nothing to grip on. Because it has this missing the tail. It's missing the freaking tail. moves. <sighs> it moves again. Ah, oh, it moved. God damn it. I stick it in and it drops, shoots right out. This is really starting to annoy the crap. This main spring is pissing me off. Damn it! Son of a bitch! Yeah, I got ticked off. So I had to go medieval on it. I managed to get the clamp on. And now it comes off easy. Son of a bitch. What a pain in my ass. Just get that little grip on there. Thing fought me. But I have superior intelligence compared to a mainspring. There it is. Yeah, so let's look. I wonder if you can see. Yeah, see, this is... Wait, where is the camera? Yeah, there's the rivet over here. And there's that other rivet. It's like a freaking, uh... A, a nail or something they stuck in there and they pounded the crap out of it. I mean, it works. Except it's too thick. Uh, now we're going to see if we can get this. We have to take this, uh... Oh, we got to take this off the clamp. How am I going to do How did I do that last time? Wow, this is a pain. Everything's a pain. You know, if it's not a pain in the ass, you're not doing it right. I think that's what it comes down to. Let's see what this does. Clamp it behind the rivet. Oh, wait. Uh. 
how the heck did I do this last time? That's why I'm trying to film it now, so I remember. It's not quite right. Oh, okay, that's better. This has been in storage for a while. Where's the camera? Are you seeing any of this? Nah, it was not in the frame. Yeah, so here's the spring. I don't know how many coils it is compared to the... Uh, let's see. Well, I got them laying on top of each other. You can see it's a uh, it's a few inches short, over six inches short, maybe closer to nine. This uh, modified spring. This spring has been. Uh, I gotta oil this now. Yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, I was looking inside the, uh, whoops, I had a different camera again. Inside the barrel, and they had the, the brace. And I don't want to install the mainspring and not have it catch on to the brace. And the brace has, uh, the ends of a, uh, an angle. Well, I guess we call it a chamfer, maybe? Or an it's ground. It's not ground square. It's ground uh, as an angle to catch stuff. And, uh, well, I was given, uh, when I bought the mainspring, I was given another brace. And they modified this. Because this brace, the chamfers are on opposite sides. This one's angled over here, facing you, and this one's angled uh, not f facing away from you. Uh, you can't see that, but this one, it's angled both the same way. And, uh, you know, it, it's not going to catch. It's just, it's not going to catch on the rivet. On the, uh, the mainspring. The rivet has, uh, that pin has an angle on it. It's supposed to catch onto the, uh, brace. And uh, this brace is not going to do it. It's going to ride right over the, uh, right over the edge because of the way it's chamfered, so I can't use this. I don't know why they did that. I don't know if I could file it or something. I don't know. What's this new one? Is new one about the same length? It's angled a little differently. Where should I hold this? Because I'm not seeing. It's got a little bit of a different angle to it. But I don't know if I can trust this original one because it's been modified. I never see them yet. They always have an opposite. That's why I was checking it out to make sure I don't stiff myself. Uh, anyway, now let me look at it again. Yeah, so I use my uh, my mainspring oil. And I grease this puppy up. I decided to use the uh, the new brace since the other brace probably got the crap knocked out of it. I wasn't going to modify it. So this should work. 
Oh, how to wind this up. Which way does it go? I believe it goes this way. Yeah, it has to go this way. I'm probably going to run out of time. There you go. Oh. And let me do this last time. I think I grabbed it. I grabbed it at the end here. I'm gonna grab it by the hole. Where's my wrench? Ah, oh, everything sticks to everything else. Let's see. Let's try it like that. I'm going to go a little bit out and go to the edge. Let's try it like that. I'm going to run out of time. Something like that. Let's see, what are you seeing? Oh, he's stuck in the way. Oh, he's stuck in the way. Yeah, you know, I can't really see. I'll use these plastic safety gloves. Oh, where's the rivet? Can I let go of that for a second? Where is the rivet? Oh, I went too far. Oh, where is the rivet? That's it. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to be safe. Where's my Allen wrench? Ah, Allen wrench, Allen wrench, Allen wrench. I'm going to... Loosen this. Just in case it wants to spin out on me or something like that. And then I loosen this. Now I gotta push it in. Where's the brace? I don't even know where the brace is. Well, you can't see because this stuff is in the way. I'm gonna push that in. Ah, uh, what am I gonna use? I forget how I did that. Ah, I'm going to stop the camera now. Okay, 
it's done. Those are air bubbles from the oil getting squished out. Yeah, so I checked that the uh, the rivet end. Where's the rivet end? I don't know where it is. Where's the rivet? Oh, rivet's about here. Where? That's where the rivet is, and it's uh it's touching the brace. I looked in there, and it's good. So this thing is ready to go. Only thing I don't like is that it's not centered. How do I fix that? I mean, to bend it? Phew, I don't know. I've had a couple like that that aren't centered, and some are centered. I don't know. I don't like it because it's going to wear funny. But what can you do? I'll have to investigate that and maybe do something later on. So, uh, that's it. I got the... Uh, the main spring in there. I didn't use the old brace. That's the old brace. I wasn't gonna. They modified it somehow. Now I wasn't gonna put it back in. And uh, that's it. Now I just gotta assemble this and uh, put it back in the clock. Do I want if people want to watch that? Let's see. I got too much junk. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Where'd the tweezers go? Yeah, I don't even know where the tweezers are anymore. I got stuff in the way. Where'd the tweezers go? Oh, if I had the tweezers, I could waste my time. Oh, there they are. Where's the arbor? It's all oily, because I oiled it. I oiled it. Ah, why not oil? All right, let's just... I don't remember how this goes. So I think this side is facing up. So I think the uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. That's the way the mainspring is. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Damn, that's gonna be tight. Oh well, it's gonna be tight. I don't know if I'm gonna do this on camera because it's that's tight. Holy crap! Oh man, not gonna go in easy. Oh crap, nah, I'm not gonna do this on camera, it's a pain in the ass, it's gonna take me too long. Oh well. Yeah, I got the, uh, the arbor in. So, uh, I put the, where's the, uh, cap? Cap still got a lot of oil on it from, uh, so I'm not going to oil it. I'm going to put the opening where the, uh, where the hook is. I wonder if it's going to snap shut. Ah, oh, I got pliers. I got pliers and, uh, I got the oily crap. Let's see if I can do it. gonna be a uh, no it works yeah that looks good oh, okay so well, there you go main springs back in the back in the uh, barrel and it's got some tension on it Oh, we just got to put it back in the clock, and, uh, well, I know it's going to work, but, uh, that was a bastard. Where did I do with that thing? I always wondered if one of these rivet ends breaks, how are they going to fix it? And they fix it. 
they say they put a nail in there, a piece of steel, and then they they ground it so it has a little bit of a lip like the original, but it's way too thick. It's just way too thick. And there's no tail. I guess the tail served a purpose to keep it uh, flush against the wall. Anyway, uh, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program. And enjoy the rest of your day.